In April of 2022, Margaret and I rented this uh, cute little teardrop trailer from Evolve Trailers and we were so charmed by its utility and compact size that uh, we decided we must have uh, one for ourselves so that we could uh, at a moment's notice just get out into the outdoors and camp in uh, relative comfort. It is almost one year later and I am going in to take delivery of our Evolve Teardrop Solar Trailer. Good morning, Alisa. Great meeting you. So she's the person who's uh, dealt with uh, all the production, yeah. the invoicing, yeah. and everything up to date. And uh, let's have a look at the trailer. Okay. This is their workshop. I've been seeing pictures of it. And this is the baby. <laughs> right. <laughs> Your ray wow. of sunshine. Uh, can you just kind of uh, point out all the features? So, uh, so in your tongue box here, you have your solar controller for your 100 watt solar panels on the roof. So each panel yeah. is 100 watts, giving you 200 watt solar panels. Okay. Yeah. You have a 250 amp lithium battery on board. That is the largest battery <laughs> we offer. Okay. It's huge. I don't want to run out of power. <laughs> for sure. I don't think you will. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, also in here, you're going to find your shore power system and yeah. your battery for your breakaway switch because okay. you have electric brakes on yeah. your trailer. So if you take a look here, yeah. this is your solar controller. It is Bluetooth enabled. So you wow. can download the app, you can monitor everything from your phone. Oh, right. So this is going to tell you how many volts are in the battery, how many watts yeah. you're bringing in, yeah. all that good stuff there. This is the battery charger for your shore power. So if you need shore power, you get this little okay. adapter mm -hmm. here. You come to that outlet over here. Yeah. You're gonna see you have a weird little notch. You got a weird yeah. little notch oh. here. So you're gonna match that up to this one, right? Okay. So you're gonna match it up, wiggle it on. You have this ring connector. Uh -huh. Always spin it on, right? Okay. I'm not gonna line it up properly. Yeah. Uh, because the thing is this, say you're at a campsite, yeah. it's late at night or yeah. you got little ones or dogs around you. Yeah. The extension cable that's plugged into here, that's plugged into the post to give you your shore power. Yeah. If you trip on it and this isn't properly secured, it you can, can rip this right uh, out and create a lot more damage rather than just the cable being disconnected from the adapter. Okay. So it's always good to secure this on. Sure. Here is your digital LED battery gauge. So when I turn on the master power, it's okay. gonna tell me how many volts are in your battery, which is 13.4. 13 and then this here is your little outlet here for your solar on the solar side panel. port. Oh, so okay. if you choose to get an additional solar panel, yeah. you can just plug it in here, providing that it has a built-in solar controller. Yeah. And then you have additional so that needs a different uh, controller? Uh, the ones that we offer here actually already have a built-in solar controller, so all you have to do is yeah. plug it in. If you want to get a different brand like Jackery, uh -huh. uh, they require they have a different plug, so you okay. will require an adapter here and a solar controller. But, uh, do you think with this uh, battery setup and this panel, I it, I would need an extra <laughs> external I, I, panel. I would highly suggest go camping. Yeah. See how you do. Because oh. I can't tell you all the things you're going to be plugging in, yeah. how long you're going to be running it for, and what kind of weather you're going to run yeah. into. All right. 250 amp is a big battery. Big That's a lot of play time. Plus it's lithium, meaning you could do a full draw and a full recharge. Okay. Where a marine deep cycle or an AGM, you can't do that. Okay. Marine deep cycle that is lead acid, you can only do mm. 20% draw, where oh. this is 100, 100%. right? Okay, great. Even if you got two 100 amp lithium batteries, mm -hmm. this is two and a half batteries right here. So this is a huge battery bank, so you've got lots of play. Yeah. So you should be fine with what you have. Yeah. So right. also over here, besides your adapter, we've given you a little bit of a cable here. Yeah. Uh, this 
here is all your stakes, ropes, and ties for your awnings up here. Okay. So this is to secure the poles down, things like yeah. that. Uh, also inside here, you are going to find what we got here. We got all sorts of goodies in here for you. You're gonna find this. It's not a beating stick, but you could use it as one. <laughs> this is for your stabilizer jacks at the rear of the trailer. Okay. So when you use your stabilizer jack, there's different hole positions back there, which I'll show you. Right. You can stick this in, crank it down. That'll help lift it and stabilize the rear trailer. Okay. However, mm -hmm. I can show you a really neat trick where you don't have to use this at all. Okay. But it's good, like if there's a bear and you need to poke it or something. <laughs> Uh, I wouldn't be that close to a bear, <laughs> hopefully to be able to poke it. <laughs> one other thing is we give you a deep inset socket. So uh -huh. the bolts that we put on the, the lug nuts that we put on the wheels, yeah. you require this to be able to get them off. Okay, yeah. So it's not a specified anti-theft lug nut, mm -hmm. but we do make it a little bit more difficult, difficult. for them to steal mm -hmm. it, yeah. right? So have you they have, been ever been stolen? Have you heard of uh, I've, cases? I've had one customer yeah. out of all the trailers we built where they said that their spare tire was stolen from the rear of the trailer. Oh my gosh. But they left it in an unsecured area, oh. not locked up, for over 24 hours. Oh. Nothing else got stolen off of the trailer, nothing else got broken into, yeah. but the spare tire was gone. <laughs> and I'm like... Okay. They're like, can you give me a new one for free? And I'm like, no. <laughs> Anti-theft insurance. Yeah. Uh, also what you have in here, this is foam tape. This is for if you require additional foam on the tongue box. It comes with the tongue box. Okay. So if you need more weatherproofing, yeah. you could use okay, this. Great. And then right here is the rest of the components to your backup camera. Okay. So here, that's the little screen. screen. You have inside here. How to get this out? Okay. There we go. This is your little uh, connector. Uh -huh. So you put this yeah. on your dash. Yeah. There's some little zip ties and stuff. And then this goes into your uh, cigarette lighter. Yeah. Okay. So it connects there, and then you have the manual here to read how to install it. If you don't want to install it yourself, I should be able to and you it need out, help, yeah. you could always give us a call and yeah. come back, and Mike could help you out with that. And one neat thing about this box here, so mm. before we were running a different kind, it's not going to uh, the, the, we were running a different brand. This one actually comes with a little tray. Oh, okay. So you do have more some, space on, some more space that. right yeah. here. Oh. So, and it does come out. You just have to kind of yeah. jimmy it out, but at least you have this way where you can kind of put this aside, put, put some the stuff things down. Like back. Yeah. you would have your wheel, ex uh, your, uh, say if you want to use wheel chocks yeah. to help stabilize the wheel. Yeah. You want to use a coupler lock yeah. for safety, right? Yeah. For anti-theft, uh, extension cord, yeah. additional ropes, things like that. You could definitely put those here. A lot of space here. For... So you got to be careful when yeah. it comes to storing things here too, because you do have cables. And you do uh, have yeah, wiring, all that, yeah, electronics, right? yeah. Exactly. You don't want to have I know. a lot of items yeah. that could destroy things. So here you see it says breaking battery. This is your little battery here for okay. your brakes. Oh, so that, that has a separate... Uh... So that is for your braking system. Okay. So this is your breakaway switch. Uh-huh. This cable here, yeah. when it's connected to your vehicle, if the trailer ever becomes disconnected, disconnected. it rips Bra this cable out, slams the brakes. Oh, right? okay. So, so it can't go very far. <laughs> This is your seven pin that. connector. Yeah. And so for this to function, you it is all connected to that little tiny battery that's oh, yeah. in here. Yeah. What? So that little battery there. Okay. So if it ever needs to get replaced, you could also give us a call or you could find the same kind of battery. There we go. So for the shore power to function, this needs to be on. 
the adapter needs to be plugged in and you have the to... on is on the green yeah okay. yeah green is on cool. red is off okay yeah. so you have your adapter here to the outlet yeah all plugged in your extension cord to With the, the whole outlet power. yeah okay. this little battery charger here needs to be plugged into this gfci outlet okay so it's all connected as one system this is connected to the battery so this no, no, is tell me. go through that again so when do i need to so this? if you want to have this mm -hmm. charge your battery yeah so say it's snowing out yeah you're not going to get any uv yeah you have your shore power here this when it's in storage can be disconnected okay. right mm -hmm. it's still going to be reading what's on the battery so it'll take very very little power yeah. from the battery so it could read it and tell you where it's at yeah. But if you want this to operate to charge this, it needs to be plugged, plugged into in here. Okay. This right here is an LED indicator light, like yeah. a little tiny light. It'll be green if it's good, yeah. red if it's... So that's showing you it's charging yeah. through the panels. Yeah. Right. So, but again, you have to be connected with this into here, mm -hmm. an extent, extension cord from here into an outlet for it to function. So I could show you what that looks okay. like quickly. So, plug that in there. So plug that in, and now you can see the okay. LED light is green. Green, okay. You could see here the screen 13.5 and you could see it's going up that's charging this battery now okay. so it's putting 8.2 amps into it mm -hmm. right so here this means you put your finger here you could change the mode so this could be in to repair so say the battery is dead it's going to just cram it full of power uh -huh. it's not dead so you just keep hitting it till it says AGM or gel. That is the setting you need for it to charge a lithium battery. Okay. So AGM or gel, that, that, yeah, that's that the light one. should be so on. So you just kind of keep hitting this yeah. until it gets to that one. Okay. And when it's uh, charging through solar, what, what happens? Do you have to so, do anything? No. no. So that would be, it's, it's all a separate system. Mm -hmm. So what would happen is the solar gets the UV. Yeah. Technically, it would be getting it because it's kind of getting light here. Yeah. And you would see it on here. Okay. And it would tell you that it would be charging. So you could see that there's a little sun there. Yeah. There. There's a little sun. And then it'll tell you that it's bringing um, power to oh. the battery. And you would see this going up, right? Okay. So LFP is lithium iron phosphate. Okay. Okay. So it says, see, 0.0, .0 amps is going in. Yeah. That's because it's being charged elsewhere. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's also at a hundred percent, so it's not really going to be bringing the and, in. Okay, what's the other outlet for? Oh, there's just, just a, a GFCI. One? It comes as a two, oh, but so yeah, it's, a, it's technically a spare. Oh, so if you want to put in Christmas lights, <laughs> you plug it in there. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, in your trailer here, yeah, you do have a 110 outlet on board, so that's not your wall outlet, right? Yeah. For that to function, because you do not have an inverter on board, it does need to be connected to shore power. Okay. So 110 will work only if I'm on Plugged shore in. power. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Beautiful. Oh, you have a fire extinguisher? Yes. <laughs> oh, There's a Christmas tree. And a smoke alarm. All right. And what is this? Uh, That's your trailer yeah. cover. Oh, great. And. Uh, Alright. Watch. Watch light on the outside, yeah. We made it yellow too. Okay, great. <laughs> so oh that's the porch. And uh, let me have a look. Here. Yeah, inside oh. here. Yeah. You'll see that little black box? Yeah. That's your fuse panel. Okay. So you there's two tabs on either side of that little black box. Oh, okay. Pinch them together. Foil, an aluminum foil on the inside here, right? Okay. To help black it out. 
And then when you want it to stay up, you just pull it right back up. Right. Um, I'm not going to show you how to do the awning. I no, no, no. Space <laughs> yeah, this is going to be like... <laughs> Uh, this is your five pound propane tank oh, and lockable great. mount. Uh -huh. These different hole positions are not for aesthetics, it's for function. Uh -huh. okay. <laughs> so, you have an oblong hole here. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is put this in, match it up to any of these hole positions. So, this, this one lock it up in? Here. Yeah, and you okay, get the cable. a oh. long shank padlock. Yeah. Lock oh. it in so you could travel with it being in here. Okay. It is fully purged, so you don't have any propane in here at this time. Yeah. If you want to preserve the paint, it is all powder coated, yeah. so it is more durable. Yeah. However, if you put like a little rubber or neoprene yeah. mat, that'll save it from the steel ring rubbing yeah. away yeah. inside. Yeah, it makes a mark, yeah. Yeah. Kind of. And then we have your kitchen back here. Wow. This is my wife's area. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the, the kitchen. kitchen. All right. Yeah. So what you have here is your IKEA features, magnetic knife rack. Yeah. These I do suggest removing when you're in transit, just in case if you're going down a really like a foresty road, yeah. road or something. Yeah. But here, these are kind of great because, like, say you're camping, this is great for utensils, even though you technically have a utensil drawer. Yeah. Um, but at least you could put some. Yeah, while like, you're working, right? Yeah, exactly. It's nice to have things handy. Exactly. So yeah. you could put like some fruits here. Some vegetables here, like so, say you like working with like onion and garlic and things yeah. like that, staple yeah. things. You can put them here, so at least when you're cutting, you could just grab what you need, yeah. cut it, throw sure. it on the the stove. Yeah. I'm guessing you have a stove, right? We have okay. a stove. <laughs> okay, perfect. <laughs> so yeah, in here you have um, these are additional accessories. So this is for tightening these. Uh, rails. Right. Okay. I've already tightened them, uh -huh. but in case if they come loose over time. Okay. These plastic clips here are for your um, blinds. Mm -hmm. So say you want to add them, you can mount them to the door yeah. so they clip in at the bottom. Okay. But again, you got to be aware that if you put these to clip at the bottom, you slam the door, the mattress is in the way or other items, it could break okay. these. But that choice is yours. Mm -hmm. And then here we have your Curtain, your windbreakers for the side oh, of yeah, the trailer. Oh yeah, that. exactly. I that. That's, that came in useful last year with the yeah. spring rain that we had. <laughs> so all you have to do um, is take one of these. There, there's a good trick to it. Yeah. So you have one for each side. So yeah. this one is for this side. How can you tell? Where the Velcro is. Oh, okay. So, the, the, one's on, on the this inside. side, one's on that side. So oh, okay. when you look at it from this perspective like this, yeah. I can tell that this Velcro is going to attach to this side here. Okay. Maybe I'll put a little L and R yeah. <laughs> with white paint. You can just uh, put it paint. in the corner yeah. here or something. <laughs> so what you want to do is you want to take your corner piece, you want to put it in here so it matches up, right? Okay. So you're going to go in here, put it on. I like to just put the first you like a good oh. foot on uh -huh. and then right and then you could always put this one here just like that yeah now you're gonna watch yourself I just bring this down so I have the ability to kind of just Add this to the side here. Okay. You can just kind of rub it on, make sure it's there. Then you let go, it tightens it. Okay, great. So now you have it, and these are machine washable. Mm -hmm. So if you do get dirt on it, yeah. these are clean, these are new, but sometimes they get dirty in the shop, yeah. it's a dirty shop. Um, you can wash this. Wash Great. So besides that, you also have a big drawer here. Oh, looks like while we were cleaning, a little bit more fell in. I'll wipe oh. that up for you. Uh, this is, I would say, a good one for pots, pans. Um, sorry, I would say pots, yeah. bowls, things like that. This one down here, oh, that's where your cutting board oh. is. 
Uh, cutting That's board excellent. and pans or plates, things yeah. like that, flatter items. Yeah. And then here is a good one for your dry goods, right? Yeah. And then utensil drawer. And then because you don't have a water jug going yeah. in, we made a big bin for you. So you oh, have good. like oh, yeah. we... cereals and things like that could go in here, the taller items, right? Yep. So you also have your bike, bike hitch, hitch here. Okay. And then this is your backup camera. Oh, that's the one. That little tiny thing right there yeah. is your backup camera. Okay, yeah. Here, you also have your stabilizer jack. So you have one on each side. Yeah. So what you're gonna do to get these out is you're gonna push them this way, swing yeah. them down, yeah, just jiggle this to make technique, sure. Yeah. And then you bring it down. So that trick I was telling you about so you could avoid using that little metal rod, yeah. before bringing these down, yeah. you disconnect the trailer mm -hmm. from your vehicle. Yeah. Go to the tongue, use the wheel jack, and lower the front just a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay. You come back, put both of these down, go to the go front back. of the trailer, and make sure that these are touching the ground, right? Yeah, yeah. And then go to the front of the trailer and dolly it back up so it's level. Yep. That pressurizes the back end and it helps stabilize yep. it. So if you're in uneven ground, yeah. it's gonna work out a lot better for you. So uh, you go to the front, you raise it up. Yeah, so after you put these down, you, you raise, raise it, it up. up. Yeah. Yeah, and, and so it's nice and level, right? Yeah. So that way what's gonna happen is you get your three-point axis of stabilization. Yeah, okay. But I have to admit, if you guys, like my husband and son, they roll around and starfish, and <laughs> I don't know who they're fighting in their sleep, but mm. they oh. move around a lot. So if oh. you prefer a more solid base, getting wheel chocks yeah. for your wheels can help as well. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm yeah. going to put these in here for you. Is there anything else over here? That's a light. Yes, that's your light yeah, and then the you charging. have another, yeah, another charging center. Yeah. So how do you get, I've never used a propane cylinder like this one. Yep. Uh, you just go to the gas station and have it filled out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, wherever they fill up propane tanks, that's yeah. where you could go. Yeah. Um, you do need your own hose adapter. So if you already have a stove, yeah. and you've been using the hose to connect to a 20 pounder, uh, or do you I use think the I, one pound bottles? I use the one pound bottle, but I know there's, there's a big hose lying around, which I've never, used mm. or tested so I got, got, got I'll have to check that out yeah yeah, yeah. you can use that hose. one or yeah. yeah you can get a new one that's a little bit shorter yeah. but the thing is this when we hit camping fire season, yeah, season which we already have apparently there's already been 30 forest fires really yeah Where? which area interior I don't know my mom told me that they're already saying that it's coming early so it must be in the interior that's where it's dry yeah. right yeah what you could do is uh, those campsites won't allow you to have a uh, campfire unless it's on a propane okay. fire pit. Yeah. So what you could always do is hook up from here to a propane fire pit if you want a little fire, have some s'mores or yeah. whatever. All right. You Shouldn't won't be a problem. like most of the time when you're cooking. Yeah. If you're used to using one pound bottles, yeah. it'll probably take you some time to go through that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this works out cheaper, right? You know, those one oh, pound yeah. bottles are really kind of. Uh, oh, uh, they're. they're Disposable. It's like a one-time yeah. use. That uh, one you just keep. And there's up. a big problem about disposing the cylinders, you know. Oh yeah. Who takes it? No one. No one. <laughs> exactly. And I've always thought. I mean, there, there should be some kind of, like, uh, you exactly. buy it from Canadian Tire or yeah. something. They should be. They should take it back. Exactly. You know, take a deposit or whatever. But yeah. you know. But no, it, it's and so when people are like, oh, but it's cheaper for the one pounders, I'm like. The amount of one pound bottles you will spend yeah. and the cost of cost them now, of it, yeah. over a summer, this will pay itself off it, threefold. Yeah. And then you know, you know you're not going to run out of gas in a hurry. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Anything uh, about the tires I need to know? Um, the wheels? So, we, so when we put the 
tires on. Yeah. They are 50 PSI. We 50 put the, PSI, okay. But we put it at 45. Yeah. 45 gives you a smoother ride. Right. Yeah. If you do 50, that is going to be very bouncy. Mom. It's a light trailer, right? Yeah. yeah. Very light trailer. So by having it at 45, you're dropping five pounds out of the trailer. So it's gonna be a lot smoother, it's yeah. gonna be less bouncy, yeah. and uh, you're gonna enjoy it a lot more. So you have a uh, little door hold back oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah, so oh, there's a one. little silver piece there. Uh -huh. You just pull it down, oh. exactly, just yeah, like that. Right. And you have locks on both sides? Or? Yeah, so you have, you have your latch lock yeah, and, and your I'm deadbolt. Like yeah. So I'm going to show you how it Okay, yeah. And we put a little tag on it so you know that these, these are the are keys to the for trailer. this trailer. Yeah, yeah. so many keys in the car. So you have spares on here, okay? Sure. Purple is for these doors here mm -hmm. on both sides. Yeah. Then you have this one, we, we labeled it for you. That's for the toolbox. Tool oh, great, yeah. And then the one that's not labeled yeah. is for the hatch door. Because those have handles on there too to lock it okay. up. So what you're going to do is when you want to lock this up, Yeah. Don't be afraid to like give it a good shove. Mm -hmm. This door has weather seals along this edge yeah. and along this edge. They okay. have to meet each other. So a good tight compression is always mm -hmm. best. When you close it, when you're traveling, I always suggest yeah, deadbolt, uh, deadbolt yeah. if you're not gonna do the latch lock. Yeah. And then putting the latch lock in. We already put white lithium grease in both of these, so these are already lubricated for mm -hmm. you. When we get the locks, they're not lubricated. Okay. So we found the first few dozen trailers we were making, people after a year, they're like, hey, it's not opening, oh. the key's getting stuck or things like okay. that. I'm like, uh -huh. that doesn't make sense. It's brand new pretty much, yeah. right? They don't so what's the grease you said? White lithium grease. White lithium grease. Okay. Yeah, so it's in a spray can, kind of like WD-40 cans with a little tiny nozzle. Oh, it's, but it's, it's whitish in color? Yeah, it's, it's I think white. I, yeah, yeah, I think I bought a can once. Yeah, it. and you just stick the nozzle in there, spray, yeah. and then take your key and just kind of wiggle, wiggle it, it inside. In yeah. Kind of in and out and then like wiggle it like this yeah. just to lubricate the locks really well. Okay. I suggest doing that once a year. Locked. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, it so that just locks the latch. Yeah, and okay. then that one does the deadbolt. Okay. So for here, you also have built-in windows here. To open your windows, you have uh -huh. a tab here and a tab here. Okay. What you want to do is try and push oh, okay. them together, so and then you lift up, oh, okay. and it clips into so place. And then you, you have, have your mesh. screen here, yeah. yeah, and then this also lifts up too. Okay. So if it's COVID again and there's a complete lockdown, you just ask for food like this. <laughs> <laughs> so that's all there for you. If you're reading and you need to change the angle, yeah, yeah, you that's do that, important. Yeah, that's and you can turn important. them off. So, so both sides have a reading both light. Both yeah, sides have sure. a reading light, yeah. And then both lights are also independent of each other. So you were playing with that earlier, on off, uh -huh. and then they dim down. Yeah. Mood lighting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so for your fan, yeah. Okay. Your fan, for it to be able to operate, yeah, it needs to be open. But if it's raining, it doesn't have to be open all the way for it to function. Okay. So this is a hand crank. It's manual. Yeah. So what you could do is you just open it a little bit, right? All right. This here is in the middle. That means off. Off. You have an arrow going up and you have an arrow going down. So okay. that's the Intake direction. Intake and out. Okay. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Say you, it's full of hot air. Yeah. Because we have a heat wave. Yeah. You want to take the air out. You're going to hit draw out. out. This is a thermostat controller. In my opinion, just leave it on blue if you want it to function. Okay. Yeah. And then here you have different speeds, three speeds. 
So this is level one. So All this right. way you, it could still function, it still operates, mm -hmm. but you're not going to be getting rain inside, right? Yeah. So that's level one there. This is level two. Yeah. Then turbo speed is level <laughs> three. <laughs> okay. And that's three. All right. Lithium battery Ready. built into it. Yeah. So it's good for 10 years, and then you just completely replace the thing. Um, it'll scream at you <laughs> in French and English. Yeah. Um, it's very loud, very loud. Oh, it's got a voice thing or just an alarm? It's an uh, alarm. Okay, well, okay, that's fine. With <laughs> a voice. <laughs> yeah, with a voice. So if there's smoke, it'll go off. If there's CO2, it'll go off. Uh huh. So what'll happen is, is if there's smoke, it goes beep, beep, yeah. right? And then it says in English, fire, fire, then I'll say in French, oh. fire, like, <laughs> oh, doo, 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 right? <laughs> and then it'll just keep beeping until you put the fire or smoke oh, out. Okay. If you were going camping mm -hmm. and it gets below zero, yeah, it'll think that there's a fire. <laughs> really? It'll start going off. Because the operating, the optimal operating function Temperature. of this is five degrees Celsius and above. Oh, I didn't know that. So yeah. apparently, if you get to minus fifteen, it's like, oh my god, there's a fire. <laughs> All right. So, so can you put it off? So uh, that, uh, there's a the way cold. that you can completely destroy this. I would not suggest it. If mm. you plan on going camping and it's going to be below yeah. five degrees Celsius at night, wrap it in a blanket, uh -huh. stick it somewhere. Uh huh. And then, so you can see I've left the lighting on inside. Yeah. Say there's an emergency, <clears throat> you just go to your master switch, turn it off, okay. it kills all the power. All right. So even if you forgot a light on, you don't have to go find the keys, unlock the door, turn the light switch off, lock everything back mm -hmm. up. Just, just use that. Just use that. So when you want to close your hatch door, yeah. you have six different weather seals on here. So you got a seal here, across the back, across here, two on each side. Mm -hmm. So you got a lot of weather seals for the most amount of compression. And you have two T-handles. Okay. Right? So when you bring it in, this is nice and tight. This side is smidge out. It's aluminum. So when uh -huh. you weld it, yeah. it's going to tweak sometimes, even though it fits perfectly in here. So what you just do is kind of bump it with your knee yeah. and lock it. That's all you do. And you'll feel, you could feel yeah, it when you the, turn it. And then, yeah, you use your little key here. It's a 751. So the, all you have to know is the one that's not labeled tool toolbox box. is for this, right? <laughs> okay. And again, these are lubricated as well. You just spin it mm. and it's locked. Yep. That's all done. And then yeah, just make sure this goes back in, pull down, swing away, yeah. give it a jiggle. Yeah. I discovered uh, one time I didn't do that. I just assumed because uh -huh. it was kind of up. Yeah. I was on the road and it fell back down. Oh. Damn near ripped right off. All right. Yeah. Okay. Right. Oh, yeah. So that's about it. That's about it. <laughs> okay, thanks, Alicia. If you have any other questions, yeah. you know how to reach us yeah. too. Um, what I'll do is I'll just go over the rest of your owner's yeah. package. Yeah, okay. Finally, I brought the trailer home, and here it is. My apologies for the rather long video that uh, this has turned out to be, but uh, I wanted to cover all the bases uh, as far as the delivery and uh, the features of this trailer are concerned. I'm so excited, I'm so thrilled and uh, looking forward to uh, many trips on this and uh, I shall keep you updated on uh, real road trips as they happen. So, goodbye for now.